Hello guys, welcome to TechMod and in this tutorial, uh, basically we are going to learn more about how to handle frames and windows in Selenium. So it's a series of Selenium 101 where we just uh, learn more about Selenium functions and Selenium things. And in this tutorial, uh, so let's get started. So uh, let's understand what is first, uh, what is an iframe? And so iframe, as you can see on the screen, that it's a kind of a web, web page which is embedded into another another HTML page. So suppose you have a page one and the page one is getting embedded into the page two using the iframe tags. It's at the, using the HTML tags which is known as iframe. Then it is known as a iframe. Alright, uh, I hope I know it doesn't make much of the sense but let's go to the example here. So uh, just go to the qa.scrolltags.com and you will be able to find it. So this is my web page. This is a full page which contains one more which contains two iframes. The first iframe is another website as you can see here. It's uh, another website and there's another website here also. So these are the two iframe that this website contains. So if you right click on it and you view via source, as you can see that the first iframe is iframe with ID one, iframe one, and it's a basically a website. It's a full fledged website. If you go to new to order demo AOT, it's another website, but uh, we have basically kind of embedded this application kind of full web page into our web page. Uh, this is known as iframes, right? Okay, that makes sense, right? Oops. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is what the concept of iframes lies right now. And all right. So uh, how to switch to the iframes? For example, so right now, as you can see, we when we go to careerscrollage.com, the iframe one contains uh, i and we what we want is that uh, if you go to here and we want to enter the username password and basically kind of do a sign up sign in here we have a user uh, we have registered uh, use we have a registered user we want to sign up but this is a kind of you can say it's a frame in this page right so how to do it in the code so we will learn more about this also here. Also. So uh, if first of all, what we have to do is that we have to get the frame. You can get the frame using, using three ways. The first one will be the index. If you know the index of the frame, if you know the name ID of the frame or using the web element. So I be here in the example, we have ID already mentioned with the iframe one. So directly we can do driver dot switch to frame with the iframe ID, right? And similarly, what uh, this concept basically kind of uh, the similar code that uh, we are using here is that as you can see, what we are doing is that we are just maximizing the window. We are switching to the frame uh, I1, uh, iframe one. We are entering the username or username and password and login, and we are just uh, clicking the sign off button. So if this all the things are working fine, definitely our switching of the iframes are working fine, and we have successfully handled the frames in Selenium, right? Here uh, in the left part, we have like we have iframes and we have inner frame and outer frame. The outer frame is kind of you can say parent frame or a child frame. The concept is same. And what we want is that we want to switch to inner frame and then interact with the element of username and password. Cool. That makes sense, right? So here is a code that we have written in Eclipse. And if you haven't watched my previous tutorial to set up all of this, you can uh, definitely go and uh, just go and watch. So we are, we have just uh, initiate the method of uh, we have basically inst initiate the driver where we are going to the qatroscale.com we just maximizing the window we and now we have to switch to the iframe one and then pass the username and password there and click on login and after clicking login we are just make sure that link tag to the sign of exist and we just click on it so if we right click run as Java application it's going to start or Firefox and it's successfully and as you can see here that it's controlled and here you can see it just it will switch it has switch and uh, entered username password and clicked on it so successfully worked with the frames very simple demo very simple example how you can switch between the frames and all all right now we have uh, like uh, idea of how to switch between the frames if you wanted to switch to a uh, parent frame again just go to uh, just click driver dot switch to dot default 
there is a function with default where you can just uh, go outside with the outer frame. So if you have, you, suppose you have the function, uh, you have to do certain things in inner frame, then after coming back, verify into the outer frame. You can just uh, last line in the same code just to do, do driver dot switch to default content, and after that you will back to outer frame and do certain verification, whatever it is. Right? Cool. So uh, what is a window here? So the second important uh, point: how to handle windows in uh, window kind of things into uh, Selenium. So generally, when we do automation during automation, we we open certain URLs, right? New tabs and all. So whenever multiple tabs are open, we have different window handles. How to handle them? So let's uh, give, go to QS scroll as autumn again, right? If you see this, the first link Selenium one. 143 UAT app. When you click on it, it's open a new tab with the same new tools of demo EAT, right? So uh, suppose our automation is running with this one, and when we click on it, so we have two two windows right now, two tabs you can say. And what we have to do is that switch to this tab and do certain tasks, enter into the name, password, sign in, and uh, suppose we want to switch back to here also, and we want to verify also. So how do we do it into code, right? This is the question. And here is a core example. Let me. Okay, so the link is basically getting shadowed. So let's move on to directly clips to see the example here. All right, it looks very big, but it's a very simple one. So before that, what we have to do is that uh, just go to create scroll test dot com. And we need to get the ID of this ID, username, whatever it is. Uh, we have an ID. Uh, it's a AUT. So what we are doing is that we basically kind of clicking the element. When we click the element, the element, the new pop window is open, right? So the first tab will be the drive. If we use driver dot get window handle, we'll get the current tab, right? Uh, the first one, this one. So this is the window one right now, and this is the window two, right? So the first one the, in the first tab will get the first string. We will get the window handle of first window, and we are basically going to print it out. Now, if we use the function of driver dot get window handles, now we have two two handles. It basically going to return a set of strings, and in the set, what we want to do is that we just remove the first one, and now only the second one will be remaining, right? So we use handles dot iterator dot next, which basically gives us second one, and we just verifying that second is not equal to not equal to first tab. So first tab and second tab basically these are the strings, and these are if they are not equal, it means that successfully second tab is there. And what what we want is that we want to switch to second tab. We want to wait for certain time, get the current URL, and after that username login will definitely work fine because we have. So, so we have already user add new tools at demoiot.com. If we move back, if we want to move back to this one, we just need to do is that uh, driver dot switch to the first tab, and it will basically again uh, so, uh, move back to the the uh, window one. You can say. So uh, another another example that most of the QA uh, guys are discussing about that this is the parent parent window. And if we click on it, this is a child window. You can do the stuff in child window. Switch back to parent. Switch back to child, and do verification, whatever it is, using these methods only. Window dot get handle, switch and driver dot uh, switch to window, and we have to mention the tab name. That's all. It's it's very sim simpler example, a very simple way I have explained all the concepts, right? Okay. So now run it. Let's see what's happened. And uh, here we have opened the QSCrollTest dot com, and in a second, we were going to click on this element, and let's wait one second. Here we have second element open. We have switched back to here, and we have successfully run our test cases, and that's all. So first tab will have a different ID. Second tab has different ID. Current URL is basically kind of not printing, but it's fine. But because our test case is already run, and so this is how you handle multiple windows in Selenium, and it's pretty much easy with the example. And I hope uh, you get the point. What is uh, going on here? Source code is already available at this URL that is uh, mentioned in the screen. So demo. I have, thanks a lot for your time. 
and in the next tutorial basically we are going to learn how to execute javascript and selenium test cases with java as well as javascript so if you have any doubt just uh, comment down below and let me know what uh, what are the topics that you wanted to see thanks a lot and have a nice day